Hello, everybody. My name is Petia, I run Vibers Global Partnerships, and I'm super, super happy to join you today for a little session with Mr. Janvier, who is the CEO and founder of Minute Shorts. Uh, I might be biased, but it is really a streaming service that allows you to watch incredible films, short films online. So without further ado, Janvier, please jump in, present yourself. And let's <laughs> So I just want to add that regards to Minute Shorts, what we tend to kind of champion ourselves is that we're highlighting incredible short films or short stories uh, globally. And we focus on highly on next generation of filmmakers. So when we talk, when we talk about next generation of filmmakers, um, you know, most of our filmmakers on our platform are under the age of 35 and average age is 27 year olds, even though they're young. Some of these filmmakers have created or produced uh, short films that went on to win uh, Oscars, BAFTAs, uh, you name it, like Biff uh, Sundance Film Festivals uh, awards, and then all the way down to uh, just incredible short films from students. How does content marketing in that way help solve business issues and business needs for your team and for your company? On our platform, what we do every day, we post a film trailer, a teaser of what the full length of the film is. I know it's quite funny because it is a really short film, but then it is been so the trailer is even shorter, which is actually works really well because especially this and uh, in a more of a, what do you call a bite size instant gratification generation we live in, people want to be teased in a shorter bite size. So every single film we have on our platform, we have a 30 second trailer of there and then we'll post on our Viber channel. That will give basically the users a kind of little taster to go watch the full film. So that kind of the, what drives people to watch our films on our platform. Then that goes also the same with uh, whenever we have events, we will record our events and we'll create a small trailer of what the highlights of the event was and we'll post on our, we'll post on our Viber to give people kind of the taster, this is what the event was about. So then the next time there's an event, someone will come. So content, like I say, is queen let's say queen instead of king content screen yeah. and content right now it you know it's everything you know brand companies now they don't only tell you like you tell your story for your content and people buy into your the narrative of your uh, company more more on so than rather than just the product that you have going so that's why i think for companies such as us especially on a young stage people want to feel related to you so that's why be able to tell stories through your content is as much important as your product itself. Yeah. I love that. Thinking about content as part of the product, as opposed to thinking that it's just part of the promotional strategy for it, right? Yeah. And you touch based on the, obviously you guys do, you know, short films and you're really milking that uh, goldfish um, attention span economy that yes. we're currently living in. I read it somewhere yeah. recently and it just stuck, stuck to my mind since then. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we do have a three seconds of a attention span as humans these days, which is the same as of a goldfish one, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that being said, obviously, you know, you need to utilize short content and short, short films and short video um, in your case for yeah. both attracting people, but also making sure that they stick around, right? Like for both for engagement and for awareness. So, um, yeah, you guys are all about video and all about short video as well. So how does a different type of content actually help you uh, create, you know, promotion and engagement, um, the promotion awareness part and the engagement part as well? for retention content you need to have some sort of a cta so call call of action to keep the audience engaged for example every monday we'll post a questionnaire questionnaire what that allows you to do and an audience to interact with you so when it's on audience interacting is sticking around and they probably they interact or leave a comment or come back later to check out what is my comments is like in comparison with other people's comments so that's retention. So you bring in your audience back, you get them to interact with you. Like that's retaining your audience. And then getting your audience to reshare, to share the content. Again, that's another way to kind of keep your audience in and then get them to reshare to their friends, the friend, the friend, the friends will share it to other friends. And then there's also what you call it, like almost like a, you create a habit content to your user. Every Friday on, on a Vibe channel, we post uh, free films. From a user perspective, once that habit is created in head, every Friday I'm going to come back I'm going to see what films they have for me to watch on the weekend or what free films they have for me to watch on the weekend. It's not so much about the content itself. It's almost a you need to create a habit to your user for them to understand that on Monday, they have questionnaires. On Friday, they have free films for me to watch on, on, a, 
on, on the weekends. So every Friday, I'll go to Minute Short channel. Every Monday, I'll go to Minute Short channel because this is what I'm expecting. So that's how you retain, um, retain your audience in. Got it. So basically, it's content at the right time, when the user expects it, and on the right platform because you touch base touch base briefly on on the Viber channel. So yeah. share with me, why did you even start the Viber channel in the first place? Uh, so we wanted to kind of um, create almost a, a community of people that we can kind of interact uh, every day. So rather than mm -hmm. like an open um, an open community, we want to have a closed community. So we like to call this like a family, an honest minute shorts family, where we can text you. It's almost think of like a text you and your friends. So or you on your group chat. So it's, so we wanted to kind of create almost a group chat of thousands of people and of, uh, all of our users put them into one group and we can text you whenever we have an event we have discounts when we have you know when we have new films etc so the reason we created the vibe channel because we wanted to kind of create a, almost like a, a group chat for us and our users so we can have a direct conversation with them so if they want something they can message us we can message them so that's that's the reason what is your current scale what is your current size of the of the channel so at the moment, it's in 420,000. Um, yeah, 420,000. So it's like just above 420,000 members. Um, this again, this this number is just it's under a year. So we kind of like we see a real growth in the past few months. I love the scale there, and uh, you know, I personally promise that I'll do my best to make sure that we reach half a million. You know, we have that. It's like a good number. You know, half a million people, half a million fan base. I think that's a decent. And you mentioned that you're utilizing quite a few of the different um, product opportunities within a channel, right? Like you mentioned the service, you mentioned the data part. So what's your favorite one? What's your like best function that you use? One of our favorites is probably the survey because kind of, what it does, it gives you an, it, it gives indication who, what your audience like, what they want, and how they, use, how they perceive you as a, as a product or your company. This, what it, the survey tool does, it gives us insights of what our users like, and what, what some of the users are uh, available during the day and what products they use in, to, watch our, uh, to watch stuff on our platform. And speaking of the audience, I mean, it's a big family. It's like almost half a million of people, right? It's just under 450K people. So what do you know about them? Um, I know we have some insights on the platform that is available for all super admins and admins. Um, but how do you guys use that? Like, what can you share about your audience? So we look at age. And we also mm -hmm. look at uh, countries. That's one. That's the two things. That's the two data that we really think is useful for us. One tip. What would be your best top tip for people, brands, businesses, content producers of all sorts to join the platform and to have a vibrant channel? What would be your pro tip number one for them? Number one tip. I'll say like, a, don't look at it as a just like a, a, a social media platform. Just look at almost like a. a Again, like I keep saying group chat, think of it as a group chat. Make sure there's an interaction, you and your audience, and also use the, the explore page. It does it help you to spread your uh, channel out to other audiences. And then make sure you design your, your, your stickers. Your stickers, make, make sure your stickers are not, what do you call it, corporate looking. Because I have seen some really cool stickers. Miniature short stickers are amazing, just FYI. I have seen a really, really other cool stickers. Okay. Also, I've seen some stickers as like a, because the stick, your your channel stickers can sometimes say a lot about you as well. So um, I think trying to make it um, within the branding of your company, if that makes sense. So there's everything kind of unified. For example, our stickers is is in a kind of branding. It's mostly orange. So then that way, there's everything is in like in branding. So for branding again, is it is another way to kind of to tell, to do your storytelling of your company or the narrative of your company. So make sure. The sticker as much as the, the company's uh, narrative that you're, you're pushing out, collects the feedback from your audience and utilize the expo page and use Vibe channel, just not like a social media, but use it almost like interaction with you and your audience. Got it. So be authentic and make sure that you utilize the tools that the product offers you as opposed to try to copy paste your yeah. you know, social media presence. Brilliant. Exactly. Thank you so much. That has been super insightful. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Janvier. Oh, 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 oh,